Okay, so if I want to solve this for C, I'm going to rewrite this. By the way, this literal equation is for Fahrenheit, and the C is for Celsius. This is how the two temperatures are related to each other in the different systems. If I want to solve for C, I'm going to get this 32 moved over. I'm going to rewrite it up here so I have some more space. F minus 32 is equal to 9 fifths C. To get the C by itself, I want to multiply by the 9 fifths reciprocal, which would be 5 ninths. So I end up with 5 ninths Fahrenheit minus 32 is equal to Celsius. This is definitely one of those literal, literal equations it's easier to just Google what is this temperature in Fahrenheit equal to in Celsius. Okay, so here is a relation to chemistry, which you guys will learn in high school. We have these variables for initial pressure and volume and final pressure and volume with this formula here. Suppose we knew that all the values except for the final pressure what variable should we isolate? Well, we should isolate the P sub F because that's the final. I would take this equation up here and I want to get this by itself, so I'm going to divide by this. That means that this would end up looking like P1 V1 over V final is equal to P final. To do this final one here, I'm going to end up putting numbers into this equation. So I get 20 times 2, because 20 here. I'm sorry, not 20 times 2, because it's a 1. Thank you. Over 13 is equal to 20 over 13 is equal to 1.54 atm and that's what p of f, sub f or the final pressure would be